Alright folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. I am Karak Avalon and today we are back in Valheim. We have another seed discovery video for you. This seed discovery video is pretty cool. There's a unique elder spawn in this video and there's on the seed and there's also a really good maypole location. So pretty cool seed. Um, we're going to do a deep dive on it. It's not going to be a quick video. Uh, because there is a maypole so we're going to go through everything where the bosses are etc so before i get going let me say thank you thank you for taking your time to watch my content i appreciate it please like subscribe share all that stuff helps the channel out and i really really appreciate the support so here is the unique elder spawn as you can see it's on its own standalone island um and it's pretty much out in the middle of the water there there are little islands over there which do connect to a larger um, land base eventually. And we'll look at that on the map, uh, you know, the map generator for Valheim. Now, this one, you might be able to dig under here and build a little base because it is, it's so raised up, but this would be a tough, tough elder fight. Um, now, of course, with a lot of elder fights, you're just going to basically kite around to these little, to these pillars. But you don't have a whole lot of room for error here because you're going to end up in the ocean. If you end up in the ocean, he's just going to range you and you're going to die. Um, now, remember, Elder Spawns, you can build here. Um, you can build uh, your base if you want. Um, I think this is a pretty good location for like a uh, just a, a beacon out in the water. Um, this ancient bull will always burn and it, as you can see in the top right corner um, I do have the fire icon so it does give you the warmth bonus now you can enclose that and you will basically have a constant fire source that you never have to put wood in just don't put any ancient seeds in there because if you do the elder is going to spawn and destroy your base anyways I think that's a pretty cool location uh, for elder Again, this would be a standalone video on its own. It would be a quick one if the Elder spawn here was the only unique thing. But it isn't. Because we do have a Maypole. And the Maypole location here is also pretty sweet. So we're going to fly back over to the Maypole. Um, it's going to take a few minutes. I'm not going to splice it out. I could, but we don't do that on this channel. I know some people have sent me private messages and said, hey, you know, I, I'll help you do some editing, whatever. Um, I don't really like to do that because what I want to show people is what it actually takes to play the game. Okay, now, um, obviously I'm in cheat mode. You don't have to do this. But in order for you to get there in cheat mode, you would have to fly over just like I am. And that's one of the things that I do on this channel. I make sure that people see exactly what I need to do to get through the content. That way, when you get in there and do it, there's no surprises. So it's going to take a, a little bit. These are pretty far apart. Um, that boss is right there. That elder is down there. Um, it's the, you're definitely going to have to sail to it, and you are going to have to sail to this Maypole location um, or go into cheat mode like I am. And we'll go through the Valheim map in a minute. So this is near uh, Dark Forest, Black Forest, which is great. Um, and you've got a little bit here, but there's definitely more robust Black Forest up there. Now, this particular location is really cool because number one you got a troll cave right there that's cool he may come and visit you that's not cool but uh definitely can farm that trolls will respawn you can set that on your if you have mods you can set you know how quickly they respawn um but here it is it's a natural port okay you can see the maypole in the distance there but you've got a nice little port here you've got i think this would be a great little place to put a fishing dock right here and another dock maybe over here because you got plenty of fish and then you come in here and half your village is in the dark forest biome and here's your maypole um, and behind you is some 
some meadows, of course. That's where the maypoles spawn. You've got some boars running around. You've got a couple of building resources here. Um, not a lot. There's not a lot of... Um, actually, there's no raspberries. Usually these have a few raspberry bushes. No, none over here either. But you've got this maypole right here, which is right next to that natural port and right next to this little river right here. Um, and you got another building over there. You've got some necks. I think this could be a really cool aesthetic build for you. Um, a little lazy cabin on the water. Uh, you know, I'm not sure, but the fact that the maypole is right here, pretty close to the water in a natural port, is pretty sweet. And this is a fairly good sized dark forest over here. Now, you're going to have neighbors. You've got, obviously, a spawner there. You've got this troll right here. Um, you've got a, a gray dwarf spawner here. It's not going to probably be an easy start for you. Once you build up, you should be fine. You've got a deer spawn right here, which is nice. You've got access to, right away, you've got tin. So I think this is a fairly good maypole location. Coupled with this unique elder spawn here, pretty cool and it's directly north of the spawn now again you're gonna have to fly over here or sail there's no way about it no way around that but it is what it is so I think this is a solid maypole location this in of itself I would do a video for but the fact that it's got that unique elder spawn is pretty cool anyways let's check out the Valheim map so here we are here's the spawn okay this is a unique uh, little island or starter island anyways because you just got this huge bay right here basically um, here's that maypole um, this is big enough for dark forest for for the black forest um, I'm pretty sure that there I did see copper there but I'm not a hundred percent you've got another one up here the good news is is you've got plenty of meadow you've got some mountain and you've got some swamp right here and you've got dark forest you've got um four biomes right here which is pretty sweet now the nice part about this particular seed is the swamp biome which we'll see in a minute but let's check out the bosses okay so there's that elder okay uh, on its island all on its own not bad there's a bone mass here bone mass there uh, you've got a Yagloth and a Bone Mass right up here, which is probably the play. Um, you've got another Elder up here. The problem really is, is Motor. Um, motor is really spread out on this seed. That's a problem. you got one way down here, which is good because it's near the Ashlands, which is eventually where we're going to end up. Um, but yeah, uh, there's another Motor over here a queen right here um your, your play is probably going to be heading to the north from your maypole okay you've got yagloth bone mass elder and the queen right here and there's a motor over here now this is important because as i'm going to show you in a minute there's the trader there's traders to the north as well so that's a very close trader to the queen i don't think i've seen a seed yet that has um that's had a trader that close to the queen uh, but, you know, th so the two big issues here and what points off for the seed are the motor locations are, are, are meh and the trader locations are pretty far away from you. However, the saving grace with that is, is this trader is by the queen. If you were to set up a base here, you'd have pretty, pretty good access to, to this um, Mistlands biome, which is cool. Um, and there is a motor over here. So not horrible because you do have bone mass here you've got a yagloth here you've got an elder up here which again that that's right on the water as well and you've got this unique elder right here um decent not great um somewhat challenging i think but you know to each their own um let's take a look at tombs and crypts so this is where things get a little bit better for the seed um you do have two two dark forest crypts in this little dark forest a uh, black forest biome right here which is good news for you uh this swamp biome here is loaded with sunken crypts which is great news 
Uh, that's probably the, the highlight of the seed, in my opinion. You've got really good access to the swamp biome, which is abutted by a huge meadow, which is close to the maypole. You're going to be able to dance in and out of there pretty easy. So uh, getting access to swamp resources early is really good. You know, you can, once you get a few certling cores, maybe out and, you know, you get your bronze or whatever, um, you can really fast mode your, your builds, get your pick, and get into the sunken crypts and just go right to iron. So I'm not saying skip uh, Dark Forest completely, but you're going to be able to, to whip through it pretty fast. You know, I know for me, I like the Dark Forest. I think it's a great biome. I dislike the swamp, but I know a lot of people uh, do like the iron. You do need a lot of iron to build that level um gear you know i think like the you need like 60 ingots in some cases so that's a lot of sunken crypts right there that's really good um and then obviously all the other swamp resources that come with it um guck blood bags um you, there's going to be plenty of draugr in there etc so a really good robust swamp biome near your base is really nice because then you don't it, i mean it would be ideal if there was a bone mass here right but at least you're not going to have to go hunt down your sunken crypts and then find bone mass so that's good um troll caves real quick you got a couple around here's that troll cave that we saw right by the maypole which is good um there's another one up here another one by this trader there's one right by this trader which might be a nice place to slap a portal like i've said in many of my other videos i like troll caves because they're very easy ways to build quick base put up a couple of walls, put up a, a portal, and you're good to go. And most times, you're not going to get attacked when you're in there. Um, so definitely, uh, that's that's good. This one to the north up here by this trader is probably the best one. Um, I use I use those all the time. Anyways, what can we, else can we do? So let's take a look at Leviathans real quick. Um not fantastic not horrible you do have one here on your way to the maypole so uh, is that going to be enough chitlin for you to get your abyssal harpoon i don't know there's another one right up here and another one up here that's enough for a solo play if you're playing with a group you're probably going to have to go uh hunting if you come down here there's plenty of uh of leviathans right by this bone mass You'd be able to get plenty of chitlin. Just, I mean, there's five right here, and then there's another four right over here, and then there's another three over here. So there's plenty to the west. Um, but, you know, ideally you want them as close to your base as possible, so you don't have to go. At least you got one, so that's not bad. Uh, let's see. Let's do the, f the um, yeah, let's do the mountain biome. So your frost caves. There's a couple dotted around. Uh, honestly, it's not great. The, the the biggest downside to this particular seed, in my opinion, is the mountain biome and where the locations are. You don't really have a lot of resources near you. Now, it may very well be that there's a silver mine in this little biome, uh, in this mountain here, these three. Could be. I don't know. But what we want to see is, is what would be ideal is if there were a couple here, a couple of frost caves, um... And some dragon eggs but you know if you want to farm the frost caves and get those resources for your for whatever build you're doing you're going to have to go searching you know there's one here one here a couple over here um that's the weakness of this now the good news is is the motor over here to the far west is loaded with frost caves and it's right by a queen and it's over here by this trader again i say it's right by it you're still going to have to it's pretty far you know you're gonna have to get over here but you know ideally what we want is is we want to pick a motor spawn and have a whole bunch of frost caves near it these two are okay this one to the west is probably the best that's the play that i would make let's take a look at dragon eggs real quick um and as you can see this motor location has plenty You've got one over here. You don't have any in these little um, mountain biomes on your island that you're at, and none over here either. Um, so, again, the, the mountain play looks like it's going to be the far west. You've got some down here as well, which is great. 
Um, the good news is, is you've got uh, dark black forest to, to land here, so you don't have to go through the mistlands to get to this mountain location. Um, but you're wedged in between the plains and the mistlands, so, uh, you know, beware. But this is the definitely the motor play that I would make. So let's take a look at beehives. It's always something that I like to do because you want that quick and easy food. Um, there's plenty on this little island with the maypole. There's some down here by the ichthyrs, etc. You'll be fine with bees either way. Uh, four to six is enough. By the time, you know, you just got to keep farming it every time it maxes out. Just keep keep harvesting that honey before you know it. You'll have you'll have a surplus, you'll have too much, and you'll, you won't you will even be harvesting the honey anymore because you have so much. But for early play, you definitely want to get those queens producing. Um, let's see, what else can we do? Uh, useful runes, where are the piggies? Not horrible, not great. This is interesting over here. You've got three of them right there. I haven't seen three that close before. And then there's a whole bunch up here as well. Um, that It's interesting to see them clumped that close together. Uh, at any rate, you, you don't have any that are that close to your maypole. You're going to want to pull... You're going to want to get a boar farm started pretty early. Now, usually with maypoles, they're usually built in the meadows around um, a village. And that village usually has a couple of piggies running around. Fence them in right away get them producing for you uh worst case scenario though if you need to you come up here oh is that maypole and you've got two that you can just farm out if you want all right let's look at yagloth and what we can expect from the plains we've got tar pits um the tar pits are useful if you want to build that aesthetic you know you need that for the building um there's plenty around this yagloth so that's good news totems Not great, not horrible. You, ideally, again, it's just like with motor. You want to see more totems around Yagloth. There's five here in this area, right by this bone mass as well. Um, you've got a few over here as well if you need them. Um, that Again, that's your play. You're going to head north on this seed probably um, and, and grab these when you're ready to do uh, the planes. You know, planes is obviously end game. Uh, well, Mistlands is end game, but, you know, the planes are the higher is is a higher level is higher level stuff. Uh, I find the planes fairly challenging, not as much as I used to. Um, I I now have gotten way better at dealing with the the death mosquitoes, but um, some of those camps can be pretty a, a pretty big pain. Slug of coffee here while I'm doing this. Um, they can be a big pain. You you've got enough here. You've got five. You should be all set. Um. Let's take a look at the Mistlands. Now, quick disclaimer before I get too deep into the Mistlands. I've gone and checked it out. I've flown through. I've looked through it. I haven't actually played the Mistlands. Now, what I mean by that is is I haven't, like, gotten a character. I, I've, I restarted everything when a Mistlands dropped. I haven't actually gotten to the Mistlands yet, done the content, discovered everything. I've looked around. So... Uh, so take this advice with as many grains of salt as you wish. If you've gotten to the Mistlands, you know better than I do. But on this particular seed, it, the West is the play. Again, you've got motor here, and you've got this trader here. So this is the area you're going to want to go. Um, you want to look for these Diverger buildings, the skulls, and the swords, and the seeker spawns. Um, around this queen is pretty thick which is good and this one's pretty thick as well this is the queen play up here because you've got the trader we we determined that there was a um troll cave here which you know we can slap a portal in that way i'm going to be able to go to the trader i'm going to be able to dance in and out of this miss lands right here and just farm this up that's what i how i would play it and then grab this queen here um now you may have done the motor down here already right so you may have a base somewhere up here but this trader is probably something that you're going to establish early so again what i would do is build a base by this trader get the portal built in that troll cave and then you just get access to the 
to the Mistlands pretty easily whenever you want. Throw a bed in there, so if you die, you can just spawn right there and just dance right back in. Uh, this Mistlands biome has plenty of resources. So, overall, I think this is a fairly good seed. Um, I think the Maypole location on its own is probably a 7.5 or an 8 with the boss structures the way they are and the trader, etc. Again, it's not a great seed, but I think this is a fine seed if you're a solo player and, you know, getting back into the game and looking for um, a cool place to build an aesthetic build, but a something that's going to be challenging, this is a great seed. Now, that unique thing about this seed is it's not just the Maypole, but this Elder Spawn down here, as we saw, is on its own little island in the middle of the ocean really so that could be a challenging elder fight or it could be a great place to build like a, a shrine or a temple or a portal hub or something um, i could see a unique portal hub being built there where you've got the um you know the fire pit in the middle you know where you drop the seeds and you build all around it um you know your your uh your hub your your portals i, I don't know how you would decorate it but i think that would be a pretty cool location for a portal hub and you know maybe you could set up a little place there where you have a deck that you could go out and um sit and watch a storm roll in that might be pretty cool so overall i think this seed is probably an eight eight and a half i don't know that i would play it myself but i think it's a decent seed it's got the maypole out in the wild if you want it um it, to the north the bosses are fairly decent and that swamp that we looked at, which is on this, this little island that we're on with the maypole, is loaded with, with crypts. So that's really the highlight here. That's going to get you to mid-game pretty quickly, which is good. Anyways, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this a good seed? Would you play it? Um, I, I, I'm on the fence. If I were starting over, I would probably consider playing this, but I don't think I would... Uh, uh, you know, as somebody who looks at so many seeds, I've seen a lot of good ones. I don't know if I grabbed this one myself, but I think it's pretty cool. Specifically that elder location, I think you could do a lot. But for builders, I think this is an excellent seed. But let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff really helps the channel out. I really appreciate the support, and I'll talk to you again soon.